Hey guys, so here we are back in the dungeon. The dungeon, this dungeon, uh, whatever it's called. Oh, bloody, I'm gonna have to look at this. I'm gonna have to check this out. Uh, the Drench Fort, that's what it's called. This is just where we left the last uh, section, and we're heading to the next section now. We use uh, the R1 button just to speed Death along because he, he can be a bit slow with his swimming. Not that I'm. Not that I'm picking on him, but he is a bit slow. Anyway, swim right to the edge here, climb up this wall, and up this wall, and then... Not there, though. Over this side. And up here, and up here. And... Oh, uh, you can't really see it, but to the right is where we really need to go. But to the left will bring us to cool items, and as you all know, that is far more important. So, we get a chest, this chest, what do we get? Health potion, and some fierce claws of fire. They are blue items, that's pretty good. Blue items are good. Anyway, let's run back along here, and now we can go the way we wanted to. Well, the way we we're supposed to, because we did go the way we wanted to. I take that back. Alright, into this large room with nothing in here. It's not suspicious in, in any way. Well, I am shocked. How dare the game try to trick me. Us, us, all of us like this. Oh, see, when you're in situations like this with lots of enemies around, it's always a good idea uh, to do the circle attacks because that will give you some temporary invincibility. And it'll also give you a little break from the action. Anyway, once you're down to, I think, just two of them, uh, in will come a Stalker. Uh, you do really, preferably, want to get rid of the little guys first. So there we go. There they are taken care of. Oh, so there's a token over there. I want that token. A very nice 500 damage crit there. Let's grab our token. A stalker is still a dangerous enemy. Not something to fuck about with. It's also an item that I can pick up over there. Oh, good. Good. A little bit of stun is going to do you the world of good when you're attacking these guys. Anyway, like before, we're letting him do a big charge at us. And then coming in with an attack of our own, so get a bit of distance from him. Let him charge across. Let him start rolling. And there we go. Out the way. And Stalker goes down. And we also picked up some Stalker's Bone. Just one Stalker's Bone. Uh, I don't want to lose 15 defense there. And where was that Talisman? There was a Talisman on the ground, wasn't there? I swear I did not imagine that you guys saw it. It was, it was on the screen. Right, well that's fantastic. That's lots last loss to the ages. Whatever. Like I care. Like I care. There's nothing we can do there. Uh, where did we come in? That doesn't matter. We got more pots to smash. Um, okay, that door. Uh, you can tell we haven't been through that door because if you look on the mini map in the bottom right here, the passage through that door is uh, sort of dark grey instead of a light grey, and that means it's unexplored. Just a nice little handy way of telling you where you have and haven't been, should you keep forgetting that kind of thing. Right. Alright, so this is the area where we're going to release the second lot of water, and the first thing we can do here is drop down and start heading across here. Actually, hear some enemies. I'm not sure where those guys were. I know there are two through here. 
This is all the game things that we're worthy of. It's just two pathetic enemies. Oh, sorry, three. Oh, well, I'll take that back. Take everything I just said back. Oh, you hit me, you son of a bitch! You, yeah, you best be dead. Hey, but chest, chest time. We go a key, a skeleton key for the door that was locked as soon as we came in. Uh, now if you look here, we can't get up this path. Look at that, we're too short. Or we can't jump high enough, whatever way you look at it. Uh, so we're going to need the water levels to rise, which means we're going to be coming back here later. That's important to remember. Yeah, do remember that, really. Anyway, uh, it's, time, it's time we get on with the real deal now. Uh, we could go that way. I don't know why we'd bother, though. Let's just go up here. Once death. Yeah, there we go. And now, I think we could go through there. And in fact, we have to go through there. Yeah, because the other door is locked. And that's where we came from. And that's an area we're going to go to later as well. Or can we go there right now? No, we can't. Okay, I just wanted to check. I had to check. I think we might be able to get there, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess about with it too much. I've been signed out of the PlayStation Network. Oh no. Okay. Anyway, through the door. Yeah. Be prepared for more enemies. I think we can probably safely say. Oh, here we go. Some of the enemies are most annoying. Sorry, some of the game's most annoying enemies so far. The stingers. Uh, not too bad when it's just a group of them. Far more annoying when there's a spawner. Okay, very straightforward stuff in here. Much, much simpler than uh, than our last puzzle, if you ask me. Hello. You probably didn't think the last puzzle was particularly complicated. I certainly made more of it than I should have done. I mean, I really... <laughs> I really made that thing complicated. Okay, whatever. Whatever, we just come up here. And up here, and we can't get whatever's up there. We'll do that later. In fact, what am I saying? Uh, I think the chest is actually... Yeah, the chest is actually just through here. I don't know why I thought it was up there. I, found, I thought that when I was playing last time as well, when I found it eventually. Yeah, thank god, that would have... Never mind, never mind. Death now has a very tatty... Uh, shawl to wear. I think we would call it a shawl. Doesn't make you at all look like a hobo, which I think is probably my favourite thing about it. Anyway, lots of, lots of wall running and... Climbing around here. Also, we can get our hands on this chest. More chests. You can see a, a new glaive. The fierce glaive of shock has dropped, and I am taking it. That is my weapon now, and that is what I will want my children to marry into. The glaive family. I don't have children, but if I did, that is who they would be marrying. Okay, but whatever. Just ignore me if you can. Uh, bomb that. Fairly straightforward. It shows you as soon as you uh, as soon as you step into the room, so you know exactly what's going on. This area here, I am clueless about. I don't know why that's there. Opening pure of the chest. Hope you get something nice and new. Ah, uh, we do. We get some new, a new skirt, a skirt and a shawl. Death is starting to look a bit more like a hipster than I would really appreciate him to do. But never mind. So like I said, a couple of episodes back, even though we had full even though we had full uh, health potions, it's worth using one just in case you didn't quite have full health. So do that, push the ball again. Don't do a strong push on it this time, you don't know how far it's gonna go. I certainly don't anyway. 
Oh my god, get in that hole. Death, let go. <laughs> what the fuck? There. I don't even need to push it this time. Okay, and before you try it, that wall is too high to wall jump. So you've got to come back up here, grab another bomb. As I said earlier, or in the last episode. There is a little theme about using bombs in this. This actually might be the end of the bomb. The bomb ball conundrum. Uh, but either way, you know, two bomb balls in one dungeon is, is quite enough, frankly. Uh, it's just it's just this thing here. You can't smash that thing, but give it a warning shot, just in case it gets mouthy. And where are we? Oh, we're here. We've got another one of those things down there. We've got regular enemies coming towards us as well. So let's take a couple of shots at them. No harm at all in doing it. Let's glaive him and attack the guy who's going to come into our back. In fact, we hit the other guy so hard that he actually disappeared from the level. Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. That's someone else. That's his cousin. And be prepared to be to get just very, very annoyed by all these things. Absolutely infuriating things, these. Can't stand it when games feel the need to put in exceptionally annoying enemies like this. They don't really do anything apart from piss you off. But whatever, you know, whatever, I'm not bothered by it. You know, I'm not bothered at all. Just destroy it as quickly as you can before you lose your mind after shooting these things a thousand times. Seriously, fuck off little bat things. There we go. No problem, and I wasn't even remotely annoyed by that. You can see I kept my cool. 100% cool. Uh, yeah, let's just flip this switch before I think any more about those things. Okay, that didn't work, uh, obviously. Because we need to blow this up. No death. Bad death. So there we go. That should do. Let's try it again. There we go. The water was coming literally through the stone there. That's how determined it was to leave. Uh, that's not the end of it. Uh, we can jump back in the water. It's not like the last... Uh, yeah, it's not. I don't think it's quite like the last... Uh, the last part of the dungeon where we only had to flip one switch. Uh, we will have to come and do a bit more stuff here. Yeah, there we go. Now. Now, where am I? How have I gone here? I'm actually, I've left, I think I've left the dungeon. Well, I, yeah. Yeah, well, actually, where am I? I really don't know where I am. Oh, here I am. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, I was in the right place. I was completely in the right place. We need to swim through here. Uh, this is where we thaw for three of those little stalker things and got a a new thing. A chest with a weapon in. Okay, but we come through here and up here. And this is how we get to the uh, the switch that we were actually trying to flip quite a bit earlier on and that I failed to do so. See, I say we tried to flip the switch and I failed. I, I accept responsibility for all of that. Uh, whatever though. Whatever, we come back down here. Can't get onto that thing, so we've got to climb up here. And down to the locked door, the mystery door. I've forgotten what is through here, actually. Because I don't remember too many more puzzles in this. And in fact, there are no puzzles, this is just the way out. Okay, uh, we're actually we're, we're getting close to the end of this dungeon now, which means that I'm probably not going to stop filming until it's done, uh, if you don't mind. But what you can do before you decide to check out is come around the edge here, 
This is where we could have come to get that uh, that token that we picked up earlier. Oh, nuts. Really, really didn't want that to happen. Okay, we're going to have to come back out and then back around. What a pain. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, death. This is your fault, not mine. This should be fairly simple for you to do, really. Uh, I just, obviously, I do like making things look more difficult than they are so that everyone thinks I'm such a pro gamer. There we go. At last. Come on, you hipster. Chest is open. A nice new defensive thing that no longer makes us look like a hipster, so there's two birds with one stone right there. No more douche luck for death. And this is also where you can shoot that mystic stone very easily, uh, if that's what you want to do. But whatever you want to do, come down here, or on the other side, it doesn't like that part doesn't matter. And we're coming back out and going through the door that we were shown when the cutscene played. Be very quick about this, very quick. We do have to fight a boss, so quick as possible. And hopefully not messing up as much as I did uh, with the other boss and with Thane and many other things that I may have recently been messing up. Uh, let's check down here. I can't remember whether there's anything down here or not. Uh, it doesn't look like it. No, I don't think so. Okay. This way then. Through here. Up here. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Through the door. And into the boss room. Look at that. The door is locked. We have no choice. Uh, so let's just shove the ball. Didn't shove it properly, I guess. Let's give it another shove. There we go. So here we go, here's Karkinos. Dodge out the way of Karkinos, or let him hit you. Whichever one you prefer. Now, you probably do want to take out this thing. So take out those things whenever you see them. And then knock a ball at Karkinos. Oh good, we did get him. Uh, the timing was a bit poor there, unfortunately. And then just attack Karkinos as much as you can. You probably get a couple of good hits on him. Uh, back off a bit. Let him charge at you. Oh, sorry, let him do that, actually. Let him do that first. And dodge out the way. Look for wherever the ball dropped. Push, push, push. And strong it into him. Take out the little spidery thing. And I'm just going to be using strong attacks on my secondary weapon. Because they are doing a lot of damage here. Certainly uh, more than the regular attack with the scythes would do. Uh, he's going to go underground and he's going to start shooting out little stemmy things. So uh, you can either let them hit you like I did or you can, you can jump around them. I shot out two at once there. I would probably consider that cheating. But, you know, never mind. It'll charge at you again. Another ball will drop down somewhere. This side. And bash it into him. But make sure you take out the spider again. I'm just calling them spiders, even though I think they only have six legs. So that is distinctly not the right thing. Okay, come on. Glaive. Do more damage. Oh, great. Well, at least I know they're probably only going to be one more shot until he's dead. I think he's going back to his old place. He's going to shoot more stems at us. Uh, I'm saying stems, but, but basically they are, in fact, roots and not stems. Oh, shit. Uh, they, don't, they don't actually do very much damage if they hit you, so don't panic at all. Just let him, let him shoot them. Dodge out his way. Hit him with the ball. The balls will come out in only one of three places, uh, depending. I think it, it sort of depends 
on where uh, and where he's charged into because they can appear right here by this door. Right, let's finish him off with the scythes. There we go. All his insides come out. We get the Masher of Karkinos, which is a hammer. He'll eventually melt down. So we can just uh, whistle away. There we go. Pick up all the loot. Remember to pick up all the loot. That's very important. Uh, get a little hammer here. The Fierce Hammer of Shock. Uh, doing a huge amount of damage there. It's 179 to 205. I'll switch out for that, I think. Uh, although I, I may come to regret that because I can't use it. Because I am not level 6. The last thing we do here is flip the switch. Do it, flip it, there we go. And there you have it, the drench fort is now completed. Don't bother jumping in that water, there's nothing there. And all you gotta do is fast travel right back to the forge and hand that quest in. That's what we'll be doing in the next episode, hope you're looking forward to it, and I'll see you then.